In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a membership website using Web Starts. Here I've created a website and the first thing you'll notice is in the top right, I have both a sign up and a login link. This is for my members area. If I want to sign up members to my website, they click on sign up and then they fill out their name, email address and password and then what I can do is I can elect to either manually approve those signups or automatically approve those signups and allow them to become a member of my website. Once they're a member of the website, they come here, they click on login, and then they use their email address and password to log in. If you go to certain pages of the website, you can specify those pages as members only sections where they are required to log in in order to view the content on those pages. That's what you're looking at here. So let me show you how I constructed this in the Web Starts editor. What I've done is I've loaded the Web Starts editor and I've gone to the sponsorship page. That's the page that I'd like to make accessible only to members or people who log in to my website. To do that, click on add and then go all the way down to membership and click on membership. This will open up the membership modal and in the modal you'll answer a few questions about this membership page. For example, would you like to make this page accessible to members only? I'm going to click yes and then continue. In the next step, you choose the page that people will go to after they log in to the members section. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose to send them to the sponsorship page. Since that's the only page on this website, I'm making members only. When you're ready, click continue, and then you'll be able to choose whether you want to automatically approve new members and give them instant access, or whether you'll manually approve new members. If you choose the option to manually approve new members, you'll need to go to the membership app on the dashboard and approve those members before they'll be able to log in. For this demo, I'm choosing to automatically allow members to sign up and be approved. Finally, choose whether or not you would like to display the sign in or login widget on this page. If, for example, you didn't want to display the ability for them to log in and sign up on this page, you would choose no, but most of the time you're going to want to add that to the page. So I click yes. Once I click yes, this membership login section will appear in the editor and I'm going to drag and drop it into the header and place it in the top right. You can place this wherever you would like, but by placing it into the header, it will appear on every page of my website. Now, when I save the pages and I go to preview, I should see that this page is no longer accessible without logging in, and that is the case. I can still get access to the other pages of my website. For example, if I go back to the home page and I click view site, you'll see that the page resolves as normally, and it's only when somebody clicks on the sponsorship page that they're required to log in. Let's go ahead and test this login. I click on the sponsorship page, and I'm now going to use an email address and password that I've already signed up with, and click login. Once I'm logged in, I can see the content on the page, and in this case, what I did is I added a text box that says exclusive members only content and here's where you can put some members only content. And I created some photos that I want accessible only to the members of my website. Notice that the login and sign up widget in the top right now says log out, which indicates that somebody is in the logged in state. And of course, you can still go between the other pages of the website and you'll always see that you're logged in if you're looking at this logout link. 
Let me take you out to the membership section so you can see where you can manage your members. From the editor, click on the dashboard link. This will bring you to your account dashboard. Scroll down to site members and click on the site members panel. From here, you'll see the status of each member. You'll be able to take bulk approval action for your members. For example, approve, disapprove, or delete members. You can also edit a particular member. So if you wanted to change their name, email address, password, you can do that here. And you can manually add members. When somebody signs up, an automatic mem member approval is not enabled. What you'll see is the ability to approve those members and you'll see in the status column, it will say that they are not yet approved. That's it for this video on how to create a membership website. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website. And don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications on YouTube so that you can be the first to see when I release a new video. And as always, leave your questions and comments in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you right away. Thanks for watching.